Hello, Ontario Library Association Super Conference attendees. I'm Hiro Migoto, author of the graphic novel Shadow Life. Brilliantly illustrated by artist Anne Zhu, it's coming out with first second books in March. Shadow Life is a story about an elderly bisexual widow, Kumiko, who's on the lam from her assisted living facility and her well-meaning adult daughters. She rents a bachelor suite in the gay part of the city and enjoys a simple self-directed life until death comes to snatch her away much too soon. Kumiko is in for the fight of her life. Tough, funny, and filled with joie de vivre, 76-year-old Kumiko is a unique individual, not a stereotype of her gender, race, age, and sexuality. There's a dearth of stories that treat older women as interesting, complex figures. In literature, they're often cast in archetypal roles like the wise crone or the old hag. Underlining all of it is an embedded ageism. What makes me furious is when elderly characters are treated as laughable. In Shadow Life, Kumiko is the hero of her own story, surrounded by a vibrant queer community, living her best life. One of the keys to a vibrant community is the library, of course. It's a nexus of information, accessible technology, literature, art, music, and community learning, a place to organize protests or write a dissertation or research a city's racist past or their present. It can be a safe refuge and a place of solace in an uneasy world. When Kumiko traps death in her vacuum cleaner, she doesn't know what to do, so of course she goes to the library to research how she might defeat it. Weaving in elements of Japanese culture, North American history, sexuality, and the fantastic, Shadow Life has a Miyazaki-esque sensibility, but set in the contemporary urban moment. It should appeal to youth, adult, and mature readers. Thank you so much for listening in. Up next is Anne Su to talk about her brilliant artwork. Thanks, Romy. Hi, OLA. I'm Anne Zhu, the illustrator of Shadow Life. When I received Hiromi's script for the book, I was gripped by how full and real each character felt. It's a candid look into Kumiko and her loved ones that feels playful, suspenseful, and just overall very full of life. As the artist, I focused on weaving those sensibilities into the black and white illustrations for the book, which you can see a couple of panels of here, of Kumiko going about her daily life, waiting for the bus after a nighttime swim at the community center, and aptly enough researching death at the library. I think the end result is a really evocative graphic novel that would be a great addition to any library bookshelf. Graphic novels have seen such a surge in readership over the past several years, and I know that when I was a teenager, I would always gravitate first to the comics and manga in a library trip. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy delving into the world of Shadow Life.